Hey, in this video I will be working on the dead wood of the um, Guinness Juniper. Uh, let me give you a bit of a broader look of it. And I will be removing some of the bark on the live vein to try to delineate it a little better. And I will be uh, applying lime surfer to the dead wood that already exists so the idea with the the process is to use a toothbrush with soapy water to remove algae to clean the dead wood to remove the bark where I know it's dead to remove the bark I'll be using some of these tools here these are the cheapest carving tools that you can find in your dollar store and it is really to to remove now this part here I know it's dead already it goes all the way here um, I, I can see that this part is dead already but in this area here it twists from underneath and goes around and Although I have these roots here, I'm not sure if they are dead or alive. So for now I'll treat them as they are alive and I'll probe the dead wood, uh, the, the live vein to see if it's alive. To probe it you chip a little bit uh, at it and you see if it's a live color, a sort of lively white or if it's a dull and that's how you essentially define the the live vein. For example here we have this this uh, branch that is alive. Um, some parts of it are not. Actually this entire no actually yeah this one is alive. This one here is not. So I have a little branch here that separates into that this part alive part, part not but the bottom part is very much alive providing um, foliage and here I have a second I don't know how much it's how visible it is let me try to twist the camera this this uh, part here is very much alive so this was the bark last last fall so now I'll be just trying to redefine refine better the, the live vein there um, but um, this doesn't him seem to have the very lively red color of of um, junipers not entirely sure but uh, you can see here you you pick you pick some sections and you just flake it off and like that so the idea is to remove the bark why remove the bark Removing the bark doesn't do any harm to the winter hardiness of the tree. It's a matter of aesthetics. Maybe you like the red-white contrast, maybe you don't. Maybe you prefer a more um, natural look to the bark. But it does have one um, horticultural function to remove the bark, which is to prevent or, or deny yeah, hiding places that provide access to boring insects and so the inspection of the bark may help you find boring insects that have already gained access to the, to the cambium layer but it also may prevent future access denying hiding places on which they start to bore. 
into the cambium layer. So this is what I'll be doing. Um, these tools are all left hand, right handed, so I have to use them the other way around. But really probing, probing and removing the cambium, and uh, sorry, the bark, leaving the red tissue. Now here, in this part here, I have a dead branch, so I can definitely further increase the dead wood and we can see more or less from the lines we can see more or less from the lines where this delineation should go but this part here is alive as it feeds to to the live uh, branches but this top here is dead as is this one here so this is what I will be working on. The idea generally is that you follow the live vein from the lines produced on the bark. The bark here is very linear, strided in this uh, Juniperus communis. And so it's very easy to, to detect where it goes. So using these um, tools, you can remove the bark, very carefully and if you make a few nicks here and there on the live vein it's okay it will heal um, but that's the idea and then washing all the dead wood and then lime sulfuring to lime surf sulfur the idea is to wet it with a, with a water bottle not to the point where it's soaking and dripping because you don't want the lime sulfur to drip but to the point where it's humid enough that it will absorb the lime sulfur and the lime sulfur is undiluted 100% lime sulfur and that's it um, there's no magic to it to apply the lime sulfur we use a little mm. brush so I'll put some lime sulfur in here and once I wet, once I clean these areas with the with the toothbrush, it will be sufficiently wet, or otherwise I'll wet it again to apply the lime sulfur directly. Uh, so in all these areas where it's the, the wood is dead, and um, so it's a bit of a careful work and a bit of a tedious work as well, but. Uh, it's important for the aesthetics and maybe maybe important for uh, for the health of your tree to prevent boring insects or to detect them if you have them already. I lost one juniper in the past to boring insects, so this is something that that I definitely don't want to happen again. So here this area is, is clearly part of a, of a dead branch. You can see how white is the, the wood there already. Now this this part here is all is all dead. So I can I can remove all the bark. And I'm being careful not to leave any any tool marks. I'm just really like going under the bark and pulling it off like so. So in this area we, we can see some of the red cambium that we would stop carving at this point. Uh, just a moment, I have a So in here, you can see some of the red bark that we would, the red uh, layer that covers the cambium that we would not go under. But here we are going under because it's part of a dead branch anyway. But here you can see the color, this pale yellow, not a vibrant white that you get 
Um, when you are working on on a on an area that that is dead already. So here here I made a little bit of here I made a small let me see if I can show you this here I nicked the cambium can you see this? It's hard to see if it's on focus. Here. I'll try to zoom it uh, uh, in post-production. But here you can see a very lively yellow, green, yellowish green sort of. And this is, this is alive. Now if I go a little bit up, This is as much as the bark is, how deep it is, it's actually quite deep. I'm holding the camera with one hand and working with the other hand, so I don't know if it will be shaky also, but... So here it's this dull white and actually here I nicked it, it, it's very white. So here, here it's the live vein actually delineated very clearly and it follows really the lines of the dead branch so it's very clear. I apologize again for my neighbors that don't stop working and, and they're uh, reforms but here it's very clear white fresh white and somewhere here was the the nick these little nicks are not an issue they will recover in a few days uh, but you, in comparison here it's this dull white and this is dead so Let's uh, put the camera back into the tree. So this is the idea to delineate the the live vein. It's a bit of a slow type of work. And we have to be careful not to leave tool marks
So I'm really at the edge of the live vein here. Uh, I don't want to, to impact it too much. I also recognize the beauty of leaving some of the bark. So it's not necessary perhaps. It's a personal aesthetic uh, decision. If you want to leave the bark, remove the bark, leave part of it in bonsai as much as there are several ways to to style a tree there are also several ways as to maintain a tree so both um, both technique and aesthetic principles are are multiple and some people like to keep the bark, some people like to remove the bark. I agree with Ryan Neal that it may be better to prevent borers to ever have a chance to get into your tree and on the process of cleaning the, the live vein you also have the chance to find any that got lodged. So here it's pretty much delineated and it's just a matter of continuing to to clean it. I don't know to what extent I will do it, what level of final detail, uh, but I just I really wanted to to show how you find where the live vein is. So it's pretty clear the change in color between here this bright shiny white and this dull cream or yellowish so that's there that's that's the live vein so i'm really at the edge of it i hope you can see it uh, i will i will only be able to see in post production uh, and maybe zoom in although this video is not being shot in 4k but still the zooming in works quite well in, uh, in 1080. So the, the bark in this area is more, it's a little trickier to, to remove. Here you can see that I made a nick again. So you have to be careful.
the lime sulfur. This is a a product that you should be very careful with with your with breathing or or contact with the skin. So I will humidify all the bits of dead wood that I will be painting. And then I will just run the paper towel to make sure that when I put the lime sulfur it doesn't drip and I'll start from from the top and go down because if it drips I can use it for the next area instead of it dripping as you see it sort of drips so you just have to be agile and catch it and it will look yellow and then it will look very pale white but uh, it will look beautiful I find best a small brush so you can really get wherever you need to go. quite beautiful as a naturalistic uh, rendition of a uh, common juniper growing in the north shore of Quebec so so I hope uh, you learned some here in this video with the delineation of the live vein, cleaning of the live vein, cleaning of the dead wood, application of lime sulfur. And if you have any questions, please uh, get in touch. I'll be happy to answer. And until the next one, bye bye.